but it seemed like you were able to just get in a rhythm from the get-go. When did you feel like you were going to be able to settle in the way you did and go with seven full innings? Yeah, I felt pretty good. I think I was getting ahead pretty well. Uh, most of my pitches felt good. The slider felt good um, pretty much the whole game. So I think that's the main thing, just being on the attack there. Um, try not to let guys on base, and defense helped out a ton. JP made some great plays. We saw you get into the secondaries a ton, especially the second time through. How much of that was the game plan, and how much is maybe just the feel of uh, what the, the game was telling you to do? Yeah, uh, it's a little bit of both. Some is the feel, how it's coming out of my hand, um, how they're reacting. Uh, I think it's nice having a little more freedom to be able to lean on that stuff when I want to uh, and not being just too reliant on the fastball or anything like that. So. Uh, it was a little bit of both, the game plan before the game, knowing we had it if we wanted to, and then just how it was coming out of my hand and able to locate it. How much has it just kind of opened up the rest of your arsenal, being able to install the cutter to go with the splitter that you already have? Yeah, I think it gives us more options and a little more freedom that um, different times through the order we can um, give them a different look. Starting off with that stuff if we want to or getting deep in the count and then kind of getting to it later, um, and I think it covers up the fastball pretty well when we want to go back to it. Logan, how much did you use the cutter? You had StatCast all messed up tonight. You had Goldsmith, didn't know what you were throwing, so how much did you use it? Um, I threw it a few times. Um, I think the strikeout to uh, Cassis, maybe. Um, threw a few to uh, righties. It was probably probably seven or eight. Yeah, it felt, felt pretty good. One of the splitters they had that as a cutter, and it was just was kind of at like 81 cutter. <laughs> yeah, that was not a cutter. Yeah. <laughs> Logan, how'd you manage to work through that that jam in the fifth and and keep things rolling there for you and limit it to the one run? Yeah, JP helped out a lot with that play. That was big. Um, and then just executing a few big pitches when I needed to. I think that's always been the main thing for me um, when things are going well big situation, being able to make a big pitch when you need to and not letting it spiral get out of hand. What did, what did he say to you in that moment when he came out there on the mound? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so bad at I never remember what they say. I don't know. Um, I think he said, like, um, probably attack or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what was it like to see Julio come up in that moment, too? Yeah, that was huge. Um, so glad he's on our team. He he helps out a lot. It's it's amazing what he can do every night and um, he's so consistent what he brings to the table on both sides but to be able to do that, finish it off strong, I think it says a lot about him and his maturity, especially early in the season. Alright. Thanks, Thanks guys. Um, ah, there we go. <laughs> okay, Tim. Um, whew. yeah, interesting ball game, uh, to say the least. And, uh, not a lot to get excited about offensively till late, but again, our pitching, um, heck of a job by Logan tonight. Um, really mixed, uh, speeds on his off speed pitches, you know, the, the, but slower slider, the harder slider, uh, the cutter um, was all very effective tonight, and, and I thought he was uh, just awesome out there and inspiring, and, and both after him uh, really good as well. Um, you know, you get in those 10th inning things, anything can happen. You know, uh, we're really good when we start a guy at second base. Unfortunately, we can't do that every inning. Uh, but in those games, um, you know, you got to find a way to put the ball in play, and we did not do that in the middle part of the game, but we did in the last inning, um, you know, starting with, with Rayleigh's. You know, two strike hit the other way. Um, you know, Rowe gets a chance to keep the ball in play, gets a big knock there, and then um, you know JP even getting it in play with two strikes. Um, big, big uh, base running play by Rayleigh. Great jump at third, beats the play at the plate, and then you know I, I talked to Julio last night after the game. I thought the best at bat. Uh, the game last night for Julio was when he took the walk uh, late in the game. And, and we talked after the game. If he keeps doing that, good things will happen. And sure enough, he's up there tonight with the game on the line. And I thought he handled that whole situation as good as we've ever seen him handle it. 
And that's what excites me about what's ahead for Julio, because when he slows it down like that and make the pitcher come to him, you know, good things are going to happen. You're not always going to get a hit, but you're going to have a really good at bat, and that's what we saw tonight. So um, nice team win. really was. Not easy. Um, they shut us down offensively. Uh, we got to get better. Um, you know, I know our guys are, are frustrated, not happy with the way we're swinging the bat, um, but it was enough, um, and we'll take wins any way you can get them. And they count just as much as in April as they do in September. So a nice win. We've got a chance to win the series tomorrow. And I will say, you know, great crowd tonight. Uh, you know, it's always curious when you're in 10th inning and you give up a couple runs. Does everybody get up and leave or do they hang in there? And tonight you all hang in there. And I appreciate it and our team appreciate it because it, it was a fun win. Yeah, he's talked so much more about having appointed a plan from a bat to a bat. What did you see in that specific plan for him in that moment? Well, he knew, you know, coming in, you know, Brownie and JD do a great job, uh, and Sam breaking down our advanced reports. We have a really good idea what these guys are going to do against us, uh, but you still got to control your emotions and, and carry out the plan, and that's what we're seeing Julio do, you know, in those spots. All our guys, late in the game, did a heck of a job. Not so good in the middle of the game, but when it counted, we had to get the ball in play. We got it done. He's able to do that and work into a hitter's count. How much does that also help? Well, he worked in the hitter's count, but he still didn't get a, you know, he still got a, a slider to hit because they're not going to give in to him. And he knows that. But the key to it was he didn't try to do too much. Just try to hit a sack fly. And all of a sudden, once in a while, you fall in and you end up with a big hit. So um, big step forward uh, for him um, and our whole team because we know we're not even playing our best and we're winning ball games, which is, which is a good sign. Scott, I don't think he'd even had a runner get to second since JP in the first inning there until, until the 10th to be able to find the offense there down two and the extras to come back and get those. Just how, how big a boost might that be for your offense to be able to deliver there? I appreciate you reminding me that we didn't have a runner uh, out there. I, I didn't know that, but thank you. Um, no, it, it is. Guys, you got to just keep grinding. It is a long game. It's a long season. You know, and there's so much failure in this game. It's so easy to get down on yourself um, and certainly people on the outside and get down on players or whatnot. But our players believe in what we're doing. We haven't got off to the greatest start offensively. That's okay. We have a long season ahead of us. And, uh, you know, just really, really excited. Our pitching is giving us a chance, keeping us in there, much like they always have here in the last few years. And, again, it goes back to Logan. He sets the tone uh, early in the ball game and really good way to start his season tonight. Can't do a whole lot better. It seemed like Rojas hit a couple balls pretty square for you guys tonight. The one in the 10th, obviously, too, but it's, uh, even one of the ones early, I think he hit pretty square. To, to have him kind of having the bat show up like that. Yeah, you need all guys to chip in. You know, we got certain guys in the middle of our lineup that aren't going great right now. And they're getting pitched pretty tough, and uh, not a whole lot's happened for them. But again, end of the day, you go home happy, you win the ball game, come back tomorrow, focus on winning the series. And that's what it's about just win the series and then move on to the next one. So put ourselves in a good, oppor- or a good chance to do that. Get Bryce Miller out tomorrow and see what he brings. We saw the ability at the bottom of the order yeah. to do that. I mean, that's, that's significant, that they are really just passing the baton and trying to get it to the top. It, really, the key, the, obviously, the, the bottom of the order tonight, getting the ball in play. I can't stress it enough. It's not always going to fall in, but if you don't give yourself a chance, you have no chance. Um, you know, and Again, Luke Rayleigh, um, I know he's new um, here to the organization. I love the way he plays the game. You know, he walks up there left on left, tough matchup. This guy has not had much success against left-handed pitching in his career, hasn't had much opportunity. He's going to find a way. He's going to get on top of the plate. I'm going to find a way, either get hit by a pitch, get on base anyway, and, you know, good things happen when you take that approach, which is a very team approach. So he's going to help us in a lot of different ways. How about his base running as yeah. well? He can really run. He's fast. Doesn't look pretty, but he, he's our second fastest guy behind Julio, believe it or not, when he gets going. And, Again, uh, being fast is one thing. Having really good instincts is another. And like I said, he got a great jump off third base on the contact play Then when JP put the ball in play. and It was close, but just just enough to get in there. So we learned that that was Julio's first walk-off hit, minors or majors, of his professional career. I mean, does that surprise you hearing that? I mean, being the superstar he is? And I guess what does it mean for you to see him get that? We've seen him have a lot of opportunities. And I think we all lived through it last year. Uh, and the struggles he went through when everybody expects uh, your best player to come through all the time, it's hard. Uh, but if you do slow it down and control your emotions like he did tonight, great things can happen. That's like not going to be the last walk-off hit he, he gets, that's for sure. But I did not know it was his first. Uh, but he's certainly a different uh, – he's a different animal right now. He, he really is – he's gained a lot of, uh, I guess, confidence, trust in himself in those moments. And you go through it and have some success doing it a certain way, you know, it ain't going to leave him, that's for sure. With a 
being this early in the season, kind of wanting to get off on the right foot, where do you think kind of the line is towards guys who are struggling, maybe doing too much for overcorrection versus kind of trying to settle in? If we played three games, you know, if the three games like this happen in June and you don't, you know, you get shut down, off, shut down offensively, you know, and there's no big deal. But uh, you say all that expectations are are different for this team. You know, we expect to put the ball in play more. We haven't done it. We have to get better. Our guys know that. We're talking about it. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, you got to find a way at the end of the game, and we did do that tonight. So we'll take a positive and move on till tomorrow. But we do. We got to get better. We got to put more pressure on inning to inning. We did not do that tonight. The middle innings, they just shut us down. We had nothing going.